straight years, Illinois has handled Ohio State. But the Buckeyes come to Champaign, Illinois this afternoon, sporting a perfect 4-0 record and determined to do something about that Illini winning streak. Winning the toss, Ohio State deferred. They want to get the ball to start the second half, so they'll kick it off here to the fighting Illini. Lynch and Turner will be the deep men as Tim Williams has the ball on the tee. That's Turner standing in front of Lynch. He's number 21. Never in the history of Illinois have they beaten Ohio State four straight times. That's what they're attempting to accomplish here this afternoon. We are underway in Champaign. That wind at his back. They drive the ball easily into the end zone. Five foot nine, and that may be stretching it. A couple of centimeters. Jason Verdusco out of Antioch, California. Camino Bell is the fullback behind him. And they'll run the tailback, and he gets nowhere as Drake Smith. And now we talk about Camino Bell, number 34. He's excellent at slipping out of the backfield for John Makovic as an added receiver. The offensive line features, in Dick Vermeil's estimate, perhaps the best guard in the Big Ten, and that's number 69, Tim Simpson. Number 44 is the tailback. Verdusco's first pass down Phil and almost a beautiful catch by Turner. They are much more aggressive. We've seen Greg Smith, the nose man, with a tackle already. And, of course, number 58, Steve Tovar, just an outstanding inside linebacker. Young secondary, but they're coming along. They've had some game experience. Foster Park returns as a starter from a year ago. Shotgun for Verdusco. Has time. Throws underneath. And complete, that was the number five, John Wright, into the win. Brian Stabline back deep. Low line drive, that should be returned nicely. From the 31, shakes free and reaches to the 40. Oh, here is Kent Graham. He's a good throwing quarterback. Edwards steps in motion. That basic Ohio State power game was met by Dana Howard. Kent Graham with only one touchdown pass and three interceptions. He's better than that. And Scotty Graham, who got that first call, is trying to regain that form of a couple of years ago. He has been hobbled by injuries. David Mono, you might remember him from the defensive line of a year ago. He's now an offensive guard. And here is Kent Graham. They're audibling on the line of scrimmage. Graham to that far side, completes his first pass to Stave Line, who is short of the first down. Mike Pulaski, one of the better pass rushers in the Big Ten this year. Two young but good inside linebackers in Holosuk and Howard. Marlon Primus, and there are a lot of folks, especially NFL scouts, who are wondering when he's going to show us the Marlon Primus of the last couple of years. Gone by, they give it to the fullback in this situation. Let's see what the Buckeyes do. Well, they give it to the tailback behind Scotty Graham. He reaches for the first down and Dana Howard of their first four games. And here they go three and out. A very questionable spot. Fair catch on the punt on the 12-yard line by Phil Mel Johnson. First and ten for Illinois. Verdusco handing off the Camino Bell. Nice play call here for McAvick. Second and short for the Illini. Verdusco will throw, drops it to Camino Bell, who's an excellent receiver. He is smashed at the 20 yard line. That basic eye formation, Verdusco's your quarterback. Off a of play fake, he buys beautiful time, looks for a passing lane, and throws it complete to the 36-yard line. Again, a fake. Verdusco rolling right and completes it beautifully on the move to John Wright. It is first and 10 at the Ohio State 43. This is the second series of the game. Verdusco working against the wind. Camino Bell foot free to the 37. They're leaving themselves in a good second down position. 
They're going to run this time. Oh, nice defense. Fagan was ganged up on the 40. He rolls right or left beautifully by in time. Penalty marker is down. There was an offside. Ball is fumbled. Verduzco picks it up. Still on the move. Makes a touch through the right cut. And he's down at the 32 for what will be a first down. Bell and Fagan are running back. Play fake. Verduzco is sacked brilliantly by Mark Williamson. This time, second down is not looking so good. Pokes second and 21, and they drop it off underneath the Fagan. And Fagan, that's exactly what they show by splitting the back out. Third and nine. Wide open is right underneath. Cut back. And that appears to be a first down for Illinois. On this drive, Jason Verdusco is 5 of 5 for 50 yards. Running backs are split. He drops straight back with beautiful time. Now 6 of 6. And Camino Bell to the 13-yard line. But Frummel was able to return. This is second and four for the Illini. Fagan on a delay with a big hole on the left side. Holds it for a first down. Two tight ends. They continue to change up the formation. Touchdown, Illinois. Looks like a defensive line. Break here in Champaign. Illinois, remember, trying to make it four in a row against the Buckeyes. Richardson hits a low liner. Gives that wind is picked up by Lee on the 12. Oh, and he had an alley there for a moment. And by Note, hole on the left side. West Virginia with a one-point win over Temple today. And here it is 7-0, Illinois ahead of Ohio State. Buckeyes with the ball by Note. Hit first by number 19, Mike Hopkins. Uh, someday walk on the moon. He's going to do it. Well, he was walking on an Ohio State running back that time. Graham fires high and incomplete. And Ohio State... Young Illinois defense doing a job again. And he was whistled down. That's what that whistle was. Clinton Lynch into the backfield. He's Verduzco's lone running back. As Coach McAvick is using a lot of personnel here against Ohio State. Lynch gets his first hurry. And he is met over there on that far side. Not so much Illinois because they haven't played well the last three years against Illinois. Second and ten. Now underneath the coverage. The fullback slipping out of the backfield. Third and three here. The shotgun again. Steps up in and incomplete. Well, stay blind. Awaits Wells punt. It's an Illinois roll. Inside the 25 for the first and 10. Edwards coming behind the quarterback. And this is Graham. Graham with a big hole. By Note. Gets a great block on the corner, and it's an Ohio State first down. Hitting, gaining that inside running lane. Graham to throw on first down. Good play fake. Hits the underneath man as the Illini took away his deep receivers. A little bit of a crease, and it's going to be close to a first down. They normally court, run toward the outback in this formation. It's Graham, the fullback, for the Ohio State first down. So when we start the second quarter, it'll be the Buckeyes, first and ten in Illinois territory. They trail it by a touchdown. Gary Alvarez, a former assistant under Hayden Fry, doing the job. So the Dead ball, false start on the offense. Still first down. 
Graham. Over the middle. Out to the 40-yard line. Now fake by Graham under pressure. Outruns the pursuer. And steps for the first down. Nice job by Ken Graham. With first and ten. Graham runs the option. Gets to the 32. Kicking for the Illini. And he is out of Richardson, Texas. So that's the hot kicker's name here today. And it is the tailback for Ohio State. As Fred Cox smashes by Note. It's pit football. Third down. By Note for the first down to the 20 yard line. Isn't it interesting? Both teams have moved well going into the win. Graham on the option, keeps it, cuts it, and gets to the seven yard line. Gives Ohio State a first and goal, trailing it by a touchdown. By Note. Across the line, in which they played an outstanding game back in the open. By Note for the Buckeyes, bounces mm -hmm. outside and gets close to the five yard line. Well, we'll see. Now they're going to run by Note on a cutback. It'll be by Note against the defense, and the defense wins. Freeman has to set up for a field goal here at the 14-yard line. He's two for two from that distance so far this year. Herb Street is holding. And it's no good. He missed the 24-yarder. Camino Bell is the fullback for Dusko. Back hits Fagan, the tailback. And he picks his way to the 28-yard line. Dilger, the tight end, is off the line a couple of yards. Verdusco off the fake, going to the left. Incomplete. Run something to the back in some kind of a crossing action. A draw play to Camino Bell, and it does not work because Randall Brown it looked like there was contact on the left, didn't it? No penalty flag down, and with the wind, he drives Stave line inside the 15. And he gets it back to the 21-yard line. He's the tailback. And they get him involved right away on a cutback down to the 24th. Off a of fake to show. Graham Howard was on the blitz. And he helped set it up, but Mike Pulaski. Graham on the draw with Pinote. Howard holds on, and he gets to the 20. I don't think it's a controversy right now. I think it's a situation where they have two great quarterbacks. And they're going to have to find one today if the guy's going to lead the team to victory. All right, thanks a lot, Greg. All right, Cheryl, the punt rolling dead on the 46-yard line. <laughs> Dusko drops it off. This is Fagan. Fagan is down at the 45-yard line, just short of the first down. Young man from California. Boyer is his tailback. Bell the fullback. This is Boyer. Boyer stood up right there where it's going to be close. That's Fagan jumping back to that halfback spot. Dusko is going to throw it. Under pressure with a defender hanging on, he throws incomplete. Now second and ten for Verdusco. Camino Bell pounds into the middle of that defense and makes Camino his way. Bell on the, the shotgun gives him the advantage, too, of being back there. You can, you can handle the rush just a little bit better. Stands in the pocket, throws high. high that time to Palma. We're offensive line. Now you're one of those guys. Oh, picked it up on the dribble and then whacked it. Whoa. And that's Whoa. Worry. That baby's out of bounds inside the five-yard line. I there can't get the prime time. I got to get that straight. <laughs> Folks, they changed the rules while you're away. They agreed with me. They brought that one out of the 20-yard line. First and 10 for the Buckeyes. They're down by a touchdown and 
Graham, he just wants to run all game on that option, Coach. Well, Second down. We're just Graham. an anchor monster. That's all right. <laughs> There's Graham. Buys time and rifles one. A yeah, beautiful okay. defensive play by number 18. Another passing situation for Graham and the Bucks. He's going to look to his left. Inside, gets it off under pressure. Improvises for an Ohio State first down. That was Raymond Harris. Really? Yeah. Miami on that play. Now on a Ooh, first nice and ten, Harris, the running back, coming outside, and he smashed oh. Butler by no tag. And the end of the game is the tailback. You get the call behind Cochran. Cuts back up to the 42-yard line. <laughs> it's third down. Somebody yelling at Columbus, not everybody. <laughs> Tim Williams punts it. Fair catch is signaled, and that is Bell, the fullback, at the 22. 121. Illinois used the timeout to get the ball back. Let's see if they can put this wind at their back to good use. They drop it off to Camino Bell on a screen play. First down, out to the 37-yard line. They're well schooled within this situation. 14 yards. Good protection. Bell again underneath, breaks a tackle, and a penalty flag comes flying. Back with this kicker, I saw him on the field the other day banging 50 yarders through them. 105, and Verdusco from the shotgun with plenty of time. Ball side, complete to Bell. Camino Bell. Again, protection underneath. Here, they got to call timeout. First down for the Illini. Gain of four. Reduce go. Wide open and incomplete. He had his man Fagan. Again, they'll use the shotgun. They're coming with a blitz. It's well picked up. Open man, far side is right. First down, he stopped the clock. Got out of bounds with 23 seconds. They paid attention in the huddle. They're listening to him now. First and ten against the Buckeyes. Drops straight back. Good protection. Throws underneath. And Bell gets inside the 15-yard line. That's Bell in motion, giving him an extra receiver. Verdusco intercepted. And that was Roger Harper. Break. It is whistled down at the 10-yard line. So forget this one. And they have got to be going into the locker room feeling awfully good about just being down by seven points. 7 nothing, Illinois over Ohio State. And Cheryl Miller's down below with Coach Cooper. Chris Richardson with the ball on the team. Richardson to kick off. Ball is fielded. Yard deep by Harris. Harris down at the 15. And then as soon as we see this play unfold, I've got a question for you regarding that. As Harris, with a strong run, is out to the 23. Second and short for the Bucks. Here's Harris again to the 25, and that'll be close to a first down. Stave line goes in motion. Graham brings it down the line, fakes the toss, keeps it for the first down. They lost at Columbus to Ohio State, didn't they, for the first time? On first and ten, the handoff is to Harris. He busts it outside for a first down with Johnson hanging on. Nice run by Harris. Graham, the quarterback. Galloway and Edwards are the wide men. Harris following Cothran. And he crosses midfield. If there's anything Harris is doing differently as a runner, he's moving around quickly as he hits the line. There he seized a little daylight and got to the 45. He and Cothran are behind Graham. Graham, he just keeps it himself for the first down. He's been a determined quarterback here. And here is Graham, who transferred to Ohio State from Notre Dame, trying to direct the Buckeyes to a touchdown. Keeping it again. Ball is down. Illinois recovers. He turns it over. 
Boy, he took a heck of a hit. And Herb, Herb Street begins to warm up in earnest. <laughs> Bell and Fagan are the running backs. Verdusco. Complete to Fagan. Out of bounds. No, he is not. He stayed inbounds. He got a few more yards to the 30. There he is shifting directly behind Verdusco. That was a 16-yard play. And this is Lynch, and he has stopped at the 30-yard line by Verdusco, Bell. Uh, Bell made a mistake. He made a mistake on that. This is third and six for Illinois. Looks like they're coming after him. They're running a the blitz. Verdusco has one on one. Goes to the end zone. And an interference in the end zone. Basically a first and goal. 15 yards, 15 yards, automatic penalty. first down. And an automatic first down. Play fake, Produsco rolling right, trying to position his receiver, and it's incomplete. Now they run Fagan, and he cuts to the left, and he is down at the nine-yard line. This is third down. Produsco, Lynch down at the seven, and you would think that Illinois would settle for a field goal. Left pass, just a tough angle to kick. The wide receiver right is the holder. It's a 23-yard attempt by Richardson. And it's no good. So Ohio State, good block. And Harris getting for the first down, diving in that direction. National Honor Society. It's good enough. Minote is in. Here's the hand to him. Minote is smacked at the 32 by Dana Howard. Here he comes. Short drop. Fires complete to Edwards. Short of the first down. And you know who was over there. Our guy number 40. Coming down the line and he'll hand it off. Minote reaching for that first down. I don't think he got it. Here's Williams with a low snap. Off the side, fielded by Camino Bell at the 35-yard line. Weaving a shutout right now. Camino Bell, he's the running back behind for Dursko. Jason fires complete to his tight end to the 43-yard line. Here we go. Or touchdown Ohio State. Yes, sir. Doesn't score. matter. We don't care. 7-0. Here's now the toss. Lynch stretches it out to the right. And he's smeared at the 43-yard line. No correlation between board scores and speed. <laughs> <laughs> There's the quick flip. There's some speed. And oh, Turner was balled down from behind by Harper. And they've got to be a little discouraged right now about the lack of offense here in this game. First and 10. Verdusco on a fake. Drops it back oh. the other way. And hammered. The Pirates lost 38-31 here in Champaign in their opener. That's their only loss of the season. Verdusco and the Illini are ahead by seven. Jason gets it off high, deflected, intercepted at the 25-yard line by Harper. On the deflected pass, he got the interception. Second possession. A young man from Centerville, Ohio, whose father played for Woody Hayes. The handoff to Scotty Graham, and uh, he comes out for about three yards. In Illinois can't afford to sit on seven points. Graham to the 33-yard line, short of the first down. And third down play. They'll try to keep it going, and they do on Raymond Harris's run. First and ten. This year, he'll have to beat out Mr. Dana Howard, I think, for that honor. Harris was cut off by Howard. Boy, is he an active... All right, second down and 10. The fake to Harris. Steps away from pressure. Herb Street takes off. And gets to the 46-yard line. He is short of the first down. Howard and Hoppers down. And Dana Howard in there on the stop. On their own 48. First down, and if 
Illinois two turnovers were both interceptions and Ohio State fumbled the ball once and Herb Street brings the option steps away neatly and gets across the 45 yard line Harris first down Buckeyes this is a throwback folks where's Bob Ferguson here's the hand to Cosman the fullback second down Keep it on the ground. It's Harris to the short side of the field. He breaks the free, and he's across the 25-yard line. Clips, folks. Now first and 10. Here's Harris again. Holasek was over there. He likes to blitz down in this situation because he doesn't have many yards to, to defense pass-wise. Herb straight to throw it. Couldn't find the receiver. Now he's under pressure, and he gets it off, and it is... Caught for a moment by Benotti. They're going to spot it there. <laughs> they must get to the 12-yard line. Herb Street hands to Binode. Binode cuts through. Binode to the three. First and goal. Well, they may have put an extra pass defender in the game. Third and 15 nickel. Yeah, exactly. They went to the nickel, and Dana Howard was out. Here's Graham. He is stuck. They helped pave the way for that big run. Now, second and goal for Ohio State. Still trying to get it in. Herb straight, ball on the ground, and Illinois recovers the football. Number 60, Julian Brown. Now Boyer checks into the game. He's the running back behind Jason Verdusco. 7-0, Illinois lead. Boyer to the nine-yard line. And Verdusco, time, complete the bell to the 14. Will they move the chains or will they have to punt it away to the Buckeyes here? And they'd be playing it into the win, too. From the shotgun, Verdusco fires to right on the first down and he breaks out. 35, 40. Veteran Wright is out of bounds at the 44-yard line. What a huge play on third, giving Illinois a first down inside the Buckeye 45. The hand is to Camino Bell, who is hammered down at the line of scrimmage. It'll be second down and 10. Verdusco hands to Lynch. The Illini move inside the Buckeye 30-yard line. First and 10. This is Bell. Daylight on that right side. Penalty flag comes flying. We watch the official here sort things out. It will be first down for Illinois after the penalty. First and 21 for Verdusco. Rolls out to the left, and the ball is batted away. And big zone. Darren Boyer, the tailback. He'll stay here unless something just super, super came up. He wants to stay here and go. Third down, Verdusco under pressure. Penalty flag is thrown. He hits Camino Bell. It's possible that there was holding back there, however. Bell works his way back to the 37-yard line as we welcome those of you who have joined us here. It's a 24-yard penalty. It's third and 40 right now for Illinois and Verdusco. They need to get down to the 19-yard line. Bounces one. Illinois forced a punt. So the penalty is really costly. Ooh, he well, almost got a that. low punt. punt. Oh, but it's got it an roll. Illinois roll. Out of bounds at the 31-yard line. And hope to play in the game a little bit later in the afternoon going at it. Herb Street still in the game off the fake. And on first down, throws complete to Jeff Cochran, the fullback. Because he's not as strong arm as Graham, so it's a little easier to throw with the windier back. Edwards, the motion man. This is Binote. Binote down at the 42. Cochran, the fullback, blocking. Oh, nice play. Harris, the tailback. Back on the play. Was a ball check. They're going to move it back. I 
no tape. Oh, yeah. Comes over there and cleans up. But let me tell you something. A third and 11 for Ohio State. Herb Street firing incomplete. Actually, it looked like he batted it down. They're four for four on fourth down this year. They have to get inside the Illinois 37-yard line. Herb Street gets over to the right. Defense is in pursuit. Drops it off incomplete. And the defense did a great job. Down. But, you know, they got a few more minutes left. Maybe they can do something if they can hold Illinois. Well, they won't do it that way. No, yes, they will. Camino Bell fumbles, and the Buckeyes have recovered. Roger Harper, who has done a number this drive, Kent Graham, returns as the Ohio State quarterback. He's been out since he fumbled on an option play. That was back in the third quarter. Graham on first down will throw, deflected, and the Illinois 44-yard line. Edwards and Galloway, the wide men. Graham's back again down the sideline. Complete for Corey Galloway. 44 yards. In between the corner and the safety, the advantage of the strong arm. He got the ball there before Pamel Johnson, number three, could get there. That a tie would impact them a lot less, apparently. Cooper decides, and certainly we will try to get a word with him right after the game, but he knows that a tie, what are the percentages in trying to get a two-point play in that situation? Grant Williams ties it up at seven. 3.10 to go now. We're right down to it. Illinois fields the kick at the 7. This is Scott Turner. Turner out to the 26 now. The inside handoff to Bell. There's an alley, and Bell is out to the 43-yard line. And it's gone, makes the first down. Still using that shotgun now for Dusko firing. Complete. And here come the Illini again. Under John Makovic. Oh, no. Verdusco going down and incomplete and almost intercepted by Nelson. They've got a big third and seven here. Verdusco firing. Complete. Harper's played a great game. He's intercepted two balls today. Verdusco again. Firing. Complete the bell. Breaks a tackle to the 32. And perhaps another first down. We'll see. They run a bit of a delay. And there defensively was Steve Tobar, number 58. They're going without Camino Bell. And he has been their most active running back. Fake for Dusko rolls left, drops incomplete. The Buckeyes were in hot pursuit. Put down toward Richardson territory, and Makovic wants a field goal attempt. Let's see what they come up with. For Dusko with time. Here hits Fagan. Fagan gets inside the 25. Clock continues. This would be his longest field goal ever. A 40. One yarder here at Illinois. He missed from the left hash. They've got him on the right hash mark. He was making him on the practice field on Thursday. 41 seconds to go.
Ducked away from pressure. Fires deep. It's an open man. Oh. And he takes a hold on. Oh. Galloway had broken free. Comes out of it. He's right. Look at the arm of this young man. Look at that ball in the air. Now, watch, see what we're talking about. A little bit further. And there it is. Oh, my God. 15, 15 seconds to go. Ray. Oh, oh, oh. Get rid of it. Gets it off underneath. They get a first down by Nome. Bringing it out to midfield. And he's down and 